What's up guys, it's History Boy back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you an authentic 1861 Spencer rifle. And without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Spencer repeating rifles and carbines were invented by Christopher Minor Spencer, born June 22, 1833, in Manchester, Connecticut. The Spencer rifle was developed as early as 1859, but was not put into use for the Union Army until, on August 18, 1863, Christopher walked past the guards into the White House carrying a Spencer rifle and a cartridge box. He then proceeded right into Abraham Lincoln's office, and after some talking, they agreed to meet the next day with the Secretary of War. The next day, Christopher Abraham Lincoln, Edwin Stanton, the Secretary of War, and some other head White House officials met at the Washington Monument for target shooting. They used the Spencer weapons for target shooting, and they must have loved them a lot, because after that meeting, the U.S. government ordered 13,000 of them, as well as 58 million rounds of ammunition. Over the course of the war, 100,000 Spencer rifles were produced, and Ulysses S. Grant said that they were the best breech-loading rifles available. Many veterans took their rifles home with them after the war. Thus, they saw very widespread use on the Western frontier in later years. Now, we'll examine this gun further, and I'll show you it close up. As you can see, the weapon does have a bayonet on it, but this bayonet is easily removable. If you examine the points closely, you can see that it has three. This was later banned by the Geneva Convention because when you stabbed someone with it, it created a wound that would not seal up properly. Thus, the subject would die a terribly painful death. Another interesting thing, if you take the bayonet off, you can see that right on top of the barrel is a sight. Now, the really interesting thing about this sight is that you can only see it once you take the bayonet off of the weapon, and it actually holds the bayonet in place when you put it there. A way that you can recognize this gun from all of the others is this interesting handle design right here. Most other guns do not have this. One more distinguishable feature about this rifle is the inscription just above the hammer, telling you the patent, the name of the rifle, and where it was manufactured. So after showing you the intricacies of this rifle, as well as telling you a bit of the history about it, you should be able to see that this rifle was absolutely instrumental in helping the Union win the American Civil War, as well as other conflicts in the West. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a historic day. I'll see you next time.